Hello and welcome to another interior real estate photography tutorial. Today we're talking about editing flambient method using flash and ambient light. With two blending modes, I have previous tutorials on this using that darken and color mode with your flash layer. But this tutorial is going to show you how to do that same process if you have multiple flash images. So here we are in a standard dining room with a kitchen off to the side. And if you've seen any of my other tutorials, remember, I'm not starting in Lightroom. Normally I edit these in Lightroom, do all my, my uh, lens correction profiles and everything. If you want to see the full steps on how I do that, all my pre a lot of my other tutorial, my flamey tutorials show that process. I'm just speeding up the process by getting us right into Photoshop to begin with. Here is our ambient layer sitting on top. And again, this was just one exposure. This is not an HDR blend. It's a little hazy around the ceiling fan, but there is an even exposure for me. For what I need to work with. So let's toggle that off for now. This is the flash pop above the camera. Now I was using the, the Godox 8600 with no, no special modifier, just the uh, dome that comes with the 8600. And then we have, I went over here and did a flash pop. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we can get these two flash images to one image. So all I'm going to do is bring up that kitchen layer to the top and I'm going to try lighten mode. So if we toggle that on and off, let's see, it is making a little reflection right here. If you see that, you just got to watch what it's doing. Everything else looks really good. So if you want to get rid of that, just create a layer mask, leave it white, black, select it over here, and then just we'll paint that back out. Okay, this looks like a nice even, let me see if I toggle that on and off. Yeah, this looks like a nice even flash base we can work with. So we're just going to select both of these. I just held down command and clicked them. You can click and then hold down command, select them both. We're going to right click and then merge layers. So now we are back to as if we were just, we just had one flash layer. And if you've seen my previous tutorials on these two blending modes, you're going to know what we're going to do next. So let's bring the flash layer to the top, command or control J to duplicate that layer. And then we're going to toggle this one off for now, just so you can see what it's doing. And we're going to change the top flash layer to color mode. So that pretty much gets rid of all our color casts from that ambient layer using the color only, not the luminance value, from that, flat, that first flash layer. And now we're just going to turn that top flash layer on, or our second, our duplicated flash layer, and turn that to darken. Now this pretty much brings you back to where that, that base flash layer is because everything's so bright. But what we can do is just paint back in ambient where we need it by just simply making, doing a white layer mask, black is selected again, and then just start painting in where we want natural glare on the floor. We don't have to go crazy. Up here, this shadow on the ceiling fan. And again, that was so ugly and hazy. I really hate to start doing this, but it is what it is. We could have had a lot cleaner, uh, Flash ceiling layer, possibly. Uh, let's see. We tile. But it is what it is. We can do some other tweaks, and this will be a good tutorial for that to show you some other troubled situations. We could tone down this flash in here. Get some more of that ambient light coming in on the floor, just so it doesn't look so flashy. And again, you spend as long as you want doing this part. Come down here. We're going to do a hue saturation layer. And I'm honestly going to just drop this. And we can do this in Lightroom also. Drop the uh, saturation all the way. We're going to command I to invert that layer mask. And now we make sure white selected. And now we can come in here and just paint out some of that orange cast. And again, this isn't going to be an issue that you're going to deal with all the time. It's just, but it could be pretty more frequent than you think because with um, hardwood floors, and of course, when you have a little bit of shadow, when you're, you know, you're doing that color mode, it's going to reveal that kind of like what luminosity does with the orange shadows that come through. So we really got to try to eliminate our shadows the best we can. I don't know if that's doing anything. Yeah, it is a little bit. 
Of course, I'm only at 5%. There we go. We could also come down here and fix that hotspot. Just flip it back and paint that back in with white. Like that. I'm down here on this other layer mask where we were, we were uh, painting in more ambient light. We kind of have to work around this fan. That'll, have, that'll make it look a little bit better so it's not, it doesn't look like it's so blown out. But sometimes you got to do that. All right, so once you got it pretty much done, we're going to right click and flatten image. And now I do see a hot spot here. I'm going to Command J to duplicate this layer. I'm going to take our lasso tool and see if uh, Content Aware can fix that glare in the window. Generate fill. I usually don't type anything. Let's just see how it does on its own. That did a pretty good job if we toggle that on and off. It pretty much eliminated just the window glare or the flash glare. I don't like to rely on that too heavily because sometimes it does not work and then you're stuck, but nine times out of 10 it works. All right, flatten the image, command S to save it. Okay, back into Lightroom, gonna hit it with my interior final bump, checking my blacks. Just gonna hold down shift and double click on each one of these sliders just to see. And there we go, there's your final image. All right guys, leave me a comment if you have any questions about this method, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I got tutorials like this coming out all the time. I'm always testing new stuff, trying to make your real estate photography business easier, but with really high end results. Oh, and hit that thumbs up button that lets YouTube know that you like this video. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.